Family to me is everything. When I first had my daughter, Emily, thought for sure I was going to be a stay-at-home mom. But I, I soon realized I missed this world that I work in. I could be a better mom working because I think there's so many great things that I'm able to accomplish that I share with my children. Knowing your patients, knowing your employees, what's important to them. Every person has a story. It's like a living history book. They tell you about all the great adventures that they had. My name is Sharon McDermott and I'm a nursing home administrator. Hi, Marguerite. Well, hello, Can I hello. come in? It's nice to see it's you. It's nice again. to see you. How are you doing? You're um, looking good. Well, thank you. So mm. are you. Now, who's that? That's my youngest granddaughter. She was in kindergarten Aww. now. She just went in fifth grade. My daughter just went into fifth grade today, too. Oh, how about that? I know. She your youngest? Or? Oldest. Oldest. The oldest. The first time I saw Sharon, the whole center knew that we were getting a new administrator. It was a building that had some troubles. Her first day there, she was walking around and making rounds and talking to people and getting to know people, and administrators typically weren't doing that. It wasn't just a job, it was about the people and the patients. You know, she got to know the people. That was her first and foremost thing that she did. She's just a lovely woman, but she's very capable. And she's very caring about every single thing. It must take a lot out of each person to do this daily. It's a very chaotic situation at times, and they take it and make it a calm environment. When she comes into the room, honestly, it's like a breath of fresh air because it's like you already feel that she's taking the burden from you, and she's going to handle it. My management style is servant leadership. Being able to work side by side, know everybody's name, you know, make sure you know that that's the first gift you were ever given. We should always remember that and cherish that. And those simple acts make the biggest impact. She's not giving lip service. It's an actual feeling that you get from her. And I like that she'll say, oh, well, I have a little one that looks like that. She does. And, and she shows me a picture and it's, it's my Vivian and her little Anna. She just makes you realize why you're here and why you're doing it and make you a better person. That's the best way to describe it. The very first day I met her, she was very enthusiastic about her job. Every time she spoke about it, she swung her fist. And she's running this show at work and she comes home and there's five little ones that really want their mommy. Usually in the younger ages especially, mommy is the rock star. Sometimes we'll be in the middle of things as a family and she'll have to stop and take a phone call. Uh, there was a time, there was a blizzard where she had to sleep over at her work for a couple nights. And that comes to be expected. It starts at the top, and I make sure that my management team, I live that. She's always there to help, always. And she knows when we're having a rough day. Her office door is never shut. Never, ever have I seen Sharon turn somebody away, ever. Ever. This is like a family. It's very personal and there's just something good about coming here. I haven't been here since my mom passed away, so <laughs> it's less than a year, but they really are family. And that's what my mom said when she, she's like, these people are my family now. When you provide good customer service to our patients, care and compassion, all the other measures come right into play. Intertwine that without people even realizing that they are, are now hitting a, you know, a clinical goal or, or hitting our five star. I think she enjoys elevating people, getting the best out of them. There's no quit when she has a goal in mind. She wants the patients to be happy, she wants the employees to be happy, and she's always thinking of, you know, what can I do? I never want to be just one thing. I want to be able to be the mom, to float back to the administrator, to be the friend. But I feel here I'm an artist, and I'm able to take the white piece of paper and just transform it and really make it useful and make it life-changing. She taps into things that you don't even really know are there, like in a creative side of you. She makes you want to be a better person. 
with Sharon. Every idea she has is not just an idea, she acts upon it. I have a saying that my staff hate, which is, I've got an idea. Hmm, I have an idea. I got an idea. I have an idea. I got an idea. I